Okay, let's take a look at the rhythm guitar part for New Speedway Boogie. It's a great acoustic guitar part. This is essentially a classic one chord boogie song. It's actually a couple of other chords, but it sort of falls into that one chord category. The song is based off an E7 chord. I would just grab your basic E7. So uh, if you don't know this one, of course, it's your first position E7, and then place your pinky on D on the second string. The critical thing about this song is the shuffle groove. And shuffle means instead of straight eighth notes, like one and two and three and, we have um, shuffle eighths or long short, kind of like one and two and three and four and one. Now the song is written in 12-8, so that would equate to one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. To really get a great shuffle groove, you want to exaggerate that feel. So in other words, instead of strumming the E chord like this, that's too relaxed. It doesn't quite have the drive. It should be more like one, two, three, four. The short is very short, and it happens just before the next beat. Okay, so when you're thinking of a good shuffle groove, don't think of it as one and two. Think of that little uh or and as falling into the next beat. One, a two, a three, a four. I hope that makes sense. So start out just by vamping on the E chord like this. One, two, three, four. actual strum pattern you can improvise okay you don't have to play exactly what I am I'm just trying to demonstrate the feel and the basics you'll notice I kind of parallel the electric guitar part by only playing the bottom strings on the downbeat two three four <laughs> There's a little bit more to the riff, and you can add this as you like or not add it at all. But essentially, uh, think of this E7 as a two-bar phrase, and at the very end of the phrase, we're going to go like this. Okay, you got the E. Then on the uh, fourth beat, we're going to play an A chord with one finger, and I like to slide into it. Grab the open strings. Try it with me. I'll try to play it pretty slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, just work on that. Now, I called it a one chord song, but actually there is a bit of a release. Basically, the only other chords you need uh, are G to D. If you have your tablature in front of you, uh, the G chord comes in at bar 19. And if you don't have your tab yet, go ahead and get it from totalsheetmusic.com. Just go to totalsheetmusic.com, look on the left-hand column for guitar tab with videos, click that button. 
look up new speedway boogie and get the tab. So coming out of two bars of the E7 chord, coming into measure 19 would be like this. pretty much it. Um, I'll pick it up right from measure 19 and you'll notice that um, the second time I played through the G to D to the A, I added a little thing that we hear on the recording just from the uh, going from A, releasing the C sharp to B just adds a little bit of movement. Okay, so coming from measure 19, here we go. One, two, three, okay um, hopefully you're following along with the tablature on that section. You can see that section is it's our E riff that we were playing from the verses, then to G, D, A, again, the E riff, back to G, D, A, back to the E riff, back to G, D, now, two bars of A. That's it. Uh, the important thing to do with that is work on the groove. It's got to really feel good. Now let's take a look at the lead guitar and fills. The song starts out with a great riff. It starts out down in the first position. <laughs> starts in the first position. This is all based off the E minor blues scale. Okay, first position, play along with me, I'll count it. One, two, three. Now there's lots of fills and, and solo licks in this song, so uh, in order to play them all, I'll go through it um, pattern by pattern. I'll play it slow so you can play along. Very important that you have the guitar tablature in front of you. If you don't already have the matching tab for this song, go to totalsheetmusic.com. That's totalsheetmusic.com. Look on the left-hand side, there'll be a button for guitar tab videos. Press that, find this song in the list, and you can download the matching tablature. So now picking it up, picking it up from the verse, and this is from measure five, the very, very end of measure five. Okay, follow along in your tablature. This is one, two, three, four. <laughs> Again, so this is measures five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four. And you can see I'm still down in that blues, minor blues position. And Jerry does use the G sharp because it's not actually a minor blues, he's just using the, the minor blues scale. One last time, then we'll move on. One, two, three. Four. Now the next
next part, Jerry comes up to the fifth fret and he plays this. Two, three, four. Now all of this is over the E chord. Remember the entire song is basically an E7 vamp, except for one section that goes G, G, A. Otherwise it's all off the E7. So when Jerry comes up here, this pattern here from the, uh, let's see, that's the ninth and the seventh frets, the middle strings, he's going to use that a lot. In this position, it's the E chord, and you can see it outlines an E bar chord. He'll, he'll also use it a lot up here for the A bar chord. So pay attention to that. So one last time, this pattern from measure eight is two, three, four. One, two. So Jerry plays that little blues lick. That's in measure 10, comes in on B3. One, two. One, two. Okay, one last time. Two, one, two. Now, let's look at measure 12. I'm gonna play three, three measures. So